And even though it's been well defined in the medical literature, you will see, still see that they only admit that it causes mesotheliomas and one other thing, not that it causes all the other things that it does, that it's been shown to cause in the other medical literature that got its funding revoked. Absolutely. Yeah. So, we probably both have it. Most whoa. of us probably have had it one time or other, you know, whether it's lying dormant in our kidneys. It depends on it. Everything depends on your background immunity, which depends on what you're doing for fun and not fun and how you're eating and how much mm. you're sleeping, et cetera, how much sun you're getting, sweating. Sweating yeah. gets rid of a lot of stuff. It's really good to sweat. It's just t such a disturbing thought that this was introduced to people through vaccines and now is spreading. And what is the what's the like the worst health impact that it could have if it spreads to you and not through a vaccine? If you didn't get it through this vaccine and you just get it from another person, like oh, it's the same thing. It's not going to make much difference in terms. Of it'll it'll gravitate to your kidneys. Um, obviously, it probably goes to lung as well. Brain, brain tumors were a big problem with it um, back in the polio days. Dr. Sh Michelle Carboni was looking at the brain tumors uh, with that. There's a really good book called The Virus and the Vaccine by Book Chin and Schumacher. It's an incredible book that details everything about those years, the scientists involved, the suppression, the oppression, the lies, the skullduggery. Then they would bring in the scientist who had no experience in actually detecting SV40, and lo and behold, he couldn't find it. And he was the one that got to make the ultimate statement on whether SV40 causes human disease or not <laughs> and just how could they keep injecting that into people if they know this oh and this the stocks that contained sv40 were still um basically being used by the vaccine manufacturers up into the 1990s and probably beyond because there's two different kinds of sv40 you're making me remember a whole bunch of things that i thought i forgot but there's the um there's the fast dividing and there's the slow dividing there's two different kind of strains of it and the original test, so when they made a vaccine, they would test it for 14 days looking for SV40. If it didn't have it, off you went and your, your vaccine was good to go. But the problem is there was a slower dividing SV40 that remained in the vaccines that were injected and probably in the stocks that are, st the stock is basically like your, your, your mother tincture or whatever. It's what you use to kind of inoculate all the new batches over time. And so the stocks were, and that's again, quote, Dr. S um, attorney Stanley Copps, quote in the book about the uh, SV40 still being in the stock up and through the 1990s. And, you know, God only knows if there's, if it's still, if they're still using those same stocks. I don't know, because I haven't gone into the, to the more modern times of SV40. But yeah, we all have it.